DJI have given us a new version of their flight app. This is version 1.6.9 and this has been launched for both iOS devices and Android devices. And in true DJI style, the uh, release notes are pretty vague, just saying it is offering uh, certain fixes uh, to some bugs that need splatting. Now I have been out flying a couple of DJI's finest, the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro to bring you this full review of the app and I'm going to let you know if I find anything new, what's changed and should you install it. So let's get into it. <laughs> So just a quick note before we start, at this current moment in time this is just for iOS devices and Android devices and it's not actually being pushed to the DJI Mini 3 RC controller at this current moment in time. So the way to get this app is to pop to the DJI download page and then very simply hit that update button even if the graphic says it's 1.6.8. DJI do tend to take some time to actually update that graphic, but it will be 1.6.9 that actually downloads. And as I've mentioned previously, if you are on an Android device and you install this update and there's something you don't quite like, you can use my Google Drive, which will be linked in the video description to go back to a previous version uh, of your choosing. Now, one thing I also want to mention is we need to take into account that the release notes are pretty vague, and it could well be that the release notes are vague for a reason. Reason. It could well be that the release notes say there's no additional features simply because there are none. At the end of the day, we have to appreciate that when DJI write an app for iOS devices, that of course will work on anything from iPhones to iPads, no problem at all. But when it comes to Android devices, uh, even though Android devices are largely based on, of course, Android 11 or Android 12, each phone manufacturer, such as Samsung, Huawei or whoever it is uh, you're using tend to have their own little variations so just please bear in mind that when we are talking about differences that we find and things that I say might work it is possible that on a different device with a slightly different Android version things don't actually work as they should and vice versa so let's talk about the actual app then now I've been flicking through the app for the DJI Mini 3 Pro uh, the Mini 2 the Air 2S and the original Mavic Mini, which I still like to feature on this channel. Now, when it comes to the actual menus, uh, features, etc., there have been no changes that I can see personally. Okay, now one thing that I have noticed uh, when it comes to this new version of the app, even though it's not actually prompting us at this current moment in time for an update. If we click to the About tab and then click to check for the firmware updates, it does appear that there is an update for the RCN1 controller. Now this did actually pop up um, on my um, DJI Mini 2 and my Air 2S. However, it didn't actually show whatsoever um, on DJI 1.6.8. Um, previously and it didn't actually pop up either on 1.6.9 until I actually clicked the button to check to see if there was any updates. Now since there has been an update for the RCM1 controller the first thing I wanted to go and check was of course range and signal strength and if I'm completely honest with you I didn't particularly notice any difference flying in an area with which I usually fly which of course serves as a fantastic benchmark because I know exactly what to expect and whilst I do appreciate uh, that circumstances such as environment, uh, KPE index, everything uh, can affect range and signal. Uh, I didn't see, certainly see any increase um, in any performance. Okay, Now when I was flying the DJI Mini 2, bearing in mind the Mini 3 Pro flew absolutely fine. I found absolutely no problems. Um, the quick shots worked. Everything selected me just fine. Um, everything was executed. The obstacle avoidance was working. Um, found no problems. I did notice one thing though whilst I was doing a flight with the DJI Mini 2 and that was to do with the allowing the upward gimbal rotation. Now what I found is whilst I was flying along I tried to actually put the uh, camera upwards into the uh, tiltward up position and for some reason it wasn't going any further than zero or level if you wish. So clicking into the menu then uh, you can see that the option is actually um, 
activated so it should go upwards but as you can see it's just not working and what I had to do is toggle it off and then on again uh, before it would actually go upwards so again nothing really major uh, but certainly something that was just a stupid glitch because again if you're out there in the moment and you're trying to capture a shot and for some bizarre reason you think you've got you know, your uh, upward gimbal rotation toggled on but yet it's not doing it, you don't want to be having to go back into your menu to toggle it on and off uh, just to get it to work. It should work anyway, guys, shouldn't it? Let's be perfectly honest with you. So apart from that little gimbal rotation issue, everything seemed to be absolutely fine uh, when flying these drones. And one thing to mention is that keep going on about it the uh, aircraft your rotation speed and smoothness on the DJI Mini 2 exclusively still doesn't work which is really strange because that value resets on the Mini 3 Pro the Air 2S uh, and everything else so uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's just on this drone here but certainly that is still an issue so it does seem that an overall review of this fly app um, DJI's description of basically just uh, fixing some bugs etc etc uh, it might actually be the case it could be that they've just added certain compatibility for something that wasn't working on a sp specific device it could well be that they have added support for a particular phone or tablet for example but certainly when it comes to functionality um, at performance um, everything seems to be working as it should apart from the things I've already mentioned on the DJI Mini 2 and of course with that new DJI RC M1 firmware I saw no difference at all when it came to actual performance and I actually flew with the RCM1 on both of these drones okay and found no difference between the two and like I said the new DJI flight app 1.6.9 isn't actually here uh, for the RC controller for this drone yet so this is for those using the RCM1 or of course the uh, controller for the Mini SE and the Mavic Mini so that wraps up my review of the DJI Fly 1.6.9 if you have found this useful of course please feel free to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're awesome and what I'll do is I'll put a video to that side of my head that I think you might want to watch after watching this one. Until next time, see you again soon.